What's up guys, it's your boy Jay. Welcome to Jay's World, so let's talk. You know how we do it, so let's get into it. And welcome to another edition of Jay Topics. All right, so look, a lot has been going on in the news cycle. A lot has been going on in the blogs. These celebrities are just tripping and wilding out. So let's get started. Okay, first I wanna talk about my girl Lizzo. The super phenomenon Lizzo. The girl, she sings, she dances, she raps, she plays the flute. I mean, Lizzo is amazing and I absolutely love Lizzo. I really am, I am a huge Lizzo fan. Let me just say that off the bat. I love Lizzo. I have been rooting for Lizzo since day one. I'm one of her day one fans, love Lizzo. Well, I'm sure by now you guys have heard, uh, Lizzo attended a Lakers basketball game in a, shall we say, revealing outfit. You know, she had this like drapey sweater type thing over the top with some jeans and both of her butt cheeks were exposed. I mean, when I say exposed, I mean absolutely exposed, okay? And not only was Lizzo's butt cheeks exposed, Lizzo actually decided to get up and start twerking. And she twerked and she gyrated and she twerked and she gave the whole audience and the whole world a good old twerking show. <sighs> so needless to say, after that, Lizzo began to receive backlash, okay? And when I say backlash, I'm talking tons of backlash. And personally, I do feel that these are people that already wanted to say some five things about her anyway so and, and I really do feel she got a lot of that as well and I really do feel that Lizzo's actions probably only just broke broke open the floodgate of all of the haters that pretty much said everything about her that they always wanted to say anyway now let me say this as big of a fan as I as I am of Lizzo I feel that Lizzo's behavior was it was just inappropriate it was just, there's just no there's just no way around it there's no way up under it. There's no way over it. There's no way through it. Lizzo's behavior was inappropriate. Okay, you know, because I saw her uh, Instagram live when she was crying and she got all emotional and tearful. And she was saying that, you know, you know, she, she's big and she's proud and, and, and no one can stop her. And she's going to do whatever she wants to do. And here's the thing about that whole thing. I, I'm, I'm for her. I really am. Like I said, I'm a huge fan. And I'm for Lizzo being the, the, the plus size beautiful woman that she is and going out there and doing her own thing. But at the end of the day, you had your entire behind out twerking at a Lakers basketball game, Lizzo. And that's just not cool and it's not right. I mean, you, you children were there, you know, old people were there, you know. You know, people came to that basketball game to guess what? see a basketball game and maybe some scantily clad cheerleaders. No one was expecting to see a grown woman twerking with her entire booty out. So as much as I love you, Lizzo, you were wrong and out of pocket for that. I'm sorry, sis, but you were. You were just wrong, you know? And, and I just feel you, you've got to do better. You know, this is like the second incident with you. You know, I, I remember a little while back, you know, uh, you guys, Lizzo had that whole thing with the, um, what are those people called? The um, Gr Grubhub, that's it. Uh, you know, she had that whole thing with Grubhub. Uh, with that girl, she exposed uh, the girl because her food was allegedly late or she accused the girl of stealing the food. Come to find out, the girl really did do her job. Lizzo went on, on Instagram and on Twitter and, and blasted the girl. She showed the girl's picture and, and who she worked for, what she looked like, and just made the whole girl's life miserable. So Lizzo, you don't need any more bad PR stunts like this. And like I said, I love you Lizzo, but you were dead wrong. You were dead wrong in this, okay? So again, I'm a big fan and Lizzo, I want you to do better, okay? All right, so next um, I want to talk about Oprah Winfrey. Y'all, here we go again with Oprah Winfrey. Now, Liv, I'm just gonna tell you right now, warning, if you are an Oprah Winfrey fan, I strongly suggest 
that you fast forward through this section. And I'm gonna give you a few minutes to fast forward through this section. Okay, I'm assuming that you fast forwarded through this section because what I have to say about uh, Oprah Winfrey is not nice. And uh, I really don't care because Oprah Winfrey is not nice. I've made it very clear on this channel that I do not like Oprah Winfrey. As a matter of fact, I can't stand Oprah Winfrey. I feel that Oprah Winfrey literally is the, the, the enemy of black men. I feel that she is the enemy of the black culture. Oprah Winfrey is trash and she's always been trash. And I'm not just saying this because of recent events with Oprah. I have been screaming Oprah was trash since the 1990s and no one wanted to listen to me then. And Oprah Winfrey is trash. Well, if you guys don't know, Oprah Winfrey has teamed up with Apple Television to produce a documentary about Russell Simmons. And basically this documentary is, is calling him out on being a, a sexual predator and pointing out all of the things that he has allegedly done to women in the music industry. Here's my thing with that. Now let me just say this, I'm no fan of, uh, of, of Russell Simmons either, but that's a whole nother video. But whether I'm a fan of Russell Simmons or not, this is yet another black male that Oprah Winfrey has decided to make a documentary on. We all know about the stunt that she pulled last year with that whole live with the, uh, the documentary on Michael Jackson, which was completely not true and completely debunked. Well, here Oprah is again, only this time she's with Apple Television to do another hit piece on Russell Simmons. First of all, Russell Simmons has not even been to trial for any of this. And everyone is, is, is asking the same question of Oprah Winfrey. Where's your Harvey Weinstein documentary? Okay, you are best friends with Harvey Weinstein and you said nothing, Oprah, about Harvey Weinstein. But, but whenever there's a black man, you have no problems. You have no problems doing hit pieces on black men because you love tearing black men down. Y'all, throughout the years, Oprah Winfrey has always attacked black men, okay? Let me tell you something. Oprah Winfrey cares nothing about black people. She doesn't. And people are gonna say what they want to about uh, uh, Monique, whether you love her or hate her. Monique has always pointed out Oprah Winfrey. Whether you hate her or not, it's just the truth. And Monique has been telling us about Oprah Winfrey for many, many years. And I'm so glad that finally, people are beginning to finally, finally see Oprah Winfrey for the snake that she really is. And I know some of you out there watching this are probably gonna say, well, she's giving money to the NAACP and she's giving scholarships to all of these black men at Morehouse and all of this kind of stuff. Let me tell y'all something. Tax write-off, tax write-off, tax write-off. Throwing money at, at black causes and black situations does not necessarily mean you're doing great things for the culture. Because behind the scenes, Oprah is not for black people. Oprah hates black people and Oprah is an enemy of black people. Real talk, if you disagree with me, I have no problems with you stating it down in the comments section. But I'm telling you right now, be real respectful because my block game is real strong and I'm not playing with anybody. Just letting you know right now. Okay? All right, so, but anyway, so th this is how I, I, I feel about Oprah Winfrey. And and this this documentary is supposed to come out, I believe, in February. So, so people are already talking about it. And shout out to 50 Cent <laughs> with his old messy self. But 50 Cent also put Oprah Winfrey on blast uh, on Instagram talking about how she's always coming after black men. I mean, everybody's pointing out Oprah Winfrey right now. I've even seen some white reporters uh, point out Oprah Winfrey and her consistent attacks on black men, okay? I'm sorry, we cannot ignore this anymore, y'all. Oprah Winfrey is a snake. Oprah Winfrey is evil. Oprah Winfrey is the devil, point blank, period. And as far as I'm concerned, she's canceled and she's always been canceled. All right, so that's all I got to say on that subject. Okay, on the flip side, I wanna speak on black excellence. I would first like to say congratulations to our brother, Mr. Tom Joyner. After 25 years 
of radio service, Tom Joyner has decided to retire. On December 13th, he, he signed off to all of his fans. Y'all, I grew up listening to Tom Joyner. Tom Joyner has done so much for black people. Tom Joyner has done so much for uh, HBCUs. He, he's donated his money. He's donated his time. And I am so proud of Tom Joyner. And as a black man, Tom Joyner truly makes me proud. So I just want to say, again, congratulations to Tom Joyner. My brother, you did a wonderful job. 25 years of black excellence. I know for a fact this is not the end of Tom Joyner. Uh, and, and speaking of not being the end of Tom Joyner, I was watching uh, an interview with Tom Joyner the other day. And he was basically saying that the reason why he retired is because they started cutting his salary. And he talked about how, how, how disc jockeys all over the country are just not being treated well by radio and how radio is declining. And he also admitted that if they had not cut his salary so severely, he would still be on the radio. So I, something tells me we have not heard the last of Tom Joyner. Definitely with all of the uh, the fundraising efforts that he's done throughout his career. I know we're not done hearing from Tom Joyner. Personally, I would love to hear Tom Joyner on satellite radio. Something tells me that he just may be going over in that direction. So anyway, like I said, congratulations, Tom Joyner. Job well done, brother. Enjoy your retirement, and we will see more of you in the future. I know we will. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and do what? Subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting on? And after you subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell icon. Because when you hit that bell icon, YouTube will send you notifications of all of my latest videos. Which means every time I drop a new video, you'll get a notification. And you too can be down with the notification squad. That's it. That's all I got. And I'll holler at you later. Peace.